Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, tuning in now, as in uh, the steps for the stepper motors. Uh, and the easy way to do this is just by getting a simple rule. It doesn't matter whether you work in inches or, or millimeters here. Obviously, when you start, start tuning Mac 3, you set up your, uh, your units that you want to work with whether it be imperial or metric I work in metric so I've just got a rule set up on the table here and a very accurate sort of sharpish tool uh, and I know I can set up Mach 3 within you know less than half a millimeter of accuracy using this method uh, I will use a DTI gauge to tune in very very accurately but this is good enough uh, for now to get it this is good enough for now to get it close so that's the setup on the table I'll just take you into Mark 3 and show you what to do so in Mark 3 come to settings and you come down to this bottom corner here set steps per unit so you open that up almost a small dialog box up here we're going to check the X and press OK and you just put in here how many millimeters in my case you want it to move so we're going to say 50 which is two inches thereabouts now then I'm going to take you back to so now I'm going to take you back to the rule and the tool uh, all I'm going to do is press OK so I'm pressing OK now now that was a little bit more than 50 millimeters that, so this has moved quite a lot more than 50 so it's, uh, let's see, 50, 60, 70, uh, I'm going to call that 78, 78. So you put that figure in this window and it was 78 millimeters and press OK. Now Mark 3 has worked out to get the correct distance that we've asked for it is going to alter the steps in the motor tuning to 160 well 160 and a quarter there about so you're going to say yes I accept that and okay it so we're going to come over here now to so now we're going to come over here config motor tuning and in the X there's that figure there so what I'm going to do now is retest and see if we can get a, a better more accurate result okay we've sorted the accuracy out now of the axes it's actually introduced a different problem and that is it has slowed the axes up so we're going to put that right now in Mac 3 okay so now we're going to speed the axes up so we come into config motor tuning and we can raise this up now to uh, as this is a brand new machine and I like to have full control uh, I'm going to take this up to 3,000 millimeters per minute 3,000 millimeters per minute the acceleration for the time being I'm going to leave at 150 so it's 150 millimeters per second per second so that's the x-axis done it's important to press save 
axis settings after each time you alter any figure and press OK and this is the difference it makes so this is the improvement it makes in real time so after making all those settings and adjustments and tests it is now the time to press ref all and after we've refed all we will measure up and set the soft limits so here we go ref all So now we can measure the axes to see how much travel we have and we can set those figures into these soft limits. Very easily done. So having measured the amount of travel on the axes, you come into config and you come down to homing and limits and you can set them in here and the Z is in the minus uh, direction so that is 200 And now you can turn the soft limits on. And I would suggest to leave the soft limits on. So now what I'm going to do is actually test to see whether the soft limits are working. I've set the soft limit um, about half an inch off the hard limit. Um, you know, this can be this can be opened out. Uh, a little bit more to give uh, probably uh, with both sides probably another 20 25 millimeter of travel if needed um, but for now I'm setting it um, I've been sort of fairly liberal in setting it so now I'm gonna um, move the X carriage 100% of jog towards this uh, hard stop then um, and Mark 3 should stop it fairly gently before it uh, reaches the hard stop. So here we go. There you go. Perfect. So that is how I set up a brand new machine. I give it some information into Mac 3 first just to get it moving, then tune it in, and then when you have it tuned in, you can give it some definite dimensions, as in uh, for the steps per, uh, then the dimensions of the machine turn the soft limits on uh, it, one thing I, I, I can do as well now is um, speed up instead of having the home in at 10% I can have it at 20 or 25%
of the jog speed and it'll home a little faster and I previously showed you where to alter that so basically you would have a pretty accurate running machine over the next week I shall be giving this uh, new machine some work to do uh, we'll do some 3d cutting uh, you know give it some some files with nearly a million lines of code uh, which is fairly usual for me and um, I'm not expecting any problems whatsoever um, what I will do is I will you know t tune this into within you know a couple of thousandths of an inch or uh, 0 0.01 of a millimeter uh, you know to get it sort of really accurate but really and truly uh, a CNC router when you 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 machine in um, you know 3d art or, or two two and a half d uh, work you work within the nearest half millimeter there's no need to to go terribly accurate you know you you know unless you, you you're cutting a pack a pocket in a piece of aluminium which this will do um to put a bearing in uh, there's no need to go with uh, you know a, a fair or so um okay so if you've liked this video please like and subscribe and if you really like what i'm doing you could think of becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that will keep the, the whole channel going um, so information for patrons would be below this video in the video description area also you'll find a discount code there for any of the CAVCO programs and also if you if you need to purchase Fusion 360, there's also a 20% discount code for that. So, all I've got to say now is thank you very much for joining me and I hope you pop in for the next parrot. <laughs> so, thank you for calling in. Oh. So, thank you for watching the video and I hope you pop in to see one of my other videos of which there's... 600 nearly over two channels uh so it's bye for now <laughs>